Building nukes in Civilization 6 is a lot different than it was in Civilization 5, and at the moment it's kind of unclear exactly how to get them. So this will be a step by step showing you guys how to get your own nuclear arsenal inside of Civilization 6. So the first thing you're going to want to obviously do is go for nuclear fission. And I will be showing off exactly how to get both the nuclear device as well as the thermal nuclear device, which is much more powerful, much more devastating. So uh, next turn, we are going to complete this research, and then we have to start to build the Manhattan Project. Now if we scroll all the way down to the Projects tab, we should see the Manhattan Project. So you can build this even if you don't have uranium within your empire. So I, I wouldn't start to worry about it yet. But if you don't have it at this point, if you don't have that strategic resource, you need to start looking for it. Because you will not be able to begin any sort of production on, on nukes until you have uranium. So you pretty much have the time it takes to complete the Manhattan Project before you absolutely need uranium. Now if you're like me and you want to skip some of those little weak sauce nukes, you gotta go for nuclear fusion. So after nuclear fission was complete, I beelined through lasers and I just grabbed this technology. And actually, it just so happens that I also completed the Manhattan Project inside of Madrid. So I can technically start building the basic nuclear devices already. I still didn't listen to my own <laughs> advice though, and I don't have uranium, so it's fine, we can wait. But as we wait for me to, to grab uranium, and you know, so I can build at least the, the average nukes, we can go for Operation Ivy. So the Manhattan Project unlocks the smaller nukes. Operation Ivy unlocks the thermal nuclear devices, which, as I said, are much more devastating. Now, luckily, I found uranium not too far away from my main empire. And if we go back to one of my big production cities, we can now begin to, like I said, build the, the smaller nukes. Once again, it will be in the Projects tab, so build nuclear device, take 11 turns. Not too bad, but let's wait for the next one. Now just before we do that though, I've got to clarify something, because in Civilization V, you could launch a nuke from any city center. You can't do that anymore in Civilization VI. You need one of two units, one being the bomber, or the jet bomber, by the way, the jet bomber just gives you a little bit more range, or a nuclear submarine. So in this case, we're going to drop our first nuke with a bomber and see how this goes. Uh, I think I'm going to just kind of drop it here on the Congo capital. One thing to keep in mind though, is the fallout. So. These regular nukes are going to leave 10 turns of fallout. They're going to leave each tile surrounding uh, this city with 10 turns of contamination. So if we were to end a turn on one of these tiles, we lose a lot of health. And of course, someone always has to pop up and say something, because that just always needs to happen. Boom! So all their defense has gone down. We can pretty much walk into the city, but you need to be careful. Because if your unit is too weak and he ends his turn in one of these contaminated tiles, it's very likely that he could just die. So, you gotta be careful in that sense. So now it's time to show off the thermal nuclear device with the nuclear submarine. But one thing I want to mention is as soon as you build, whether it be a nuclear device or a thermal nuclear device, you can use that anywhere. So I don't have to drop it from the nuclear submarine. It's not like I have to transfer it over or anything like that. I could drop the same, I only have one thermal nuclear, nuclear device, by the way. Uh, I could drop it from the bomber or drop it from the nuclear submarine. This gives you a ton of options when deciding to drop a nuke on someone maybe halfway across the globe. So anyways, uh, we're not going to drop it from the bomber. Again, I do want to show off what it's like from the nuclear submarine. And this will be the, with the thermal nuclear device, which means that uh, we're going to see a lot more contamination. So I'll drop it on this city so that we keep it different. Uh, it has been a few turns later, so um, the, a few, the, the, the tiles are not as contaminated as, as they were a few seconds ago. So here it goes. Bam, it's going to get dropped. And we're going to see 20 turns of fallout now. As well as a lot more damage is done all around. You can see that the mushroom cloud is... Uh, way more massive and you have a huge area of fallout, fallout, a lot more area than we saw previously. So yeah, if we were to scroll over this, 20 turns, much more devastating. And uh, there you have it. Now you know how to, the process it takes to building your own weapons of mass destruction and kind of getting up your own nuclear arsenal. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. Now you can go and destroy your own worlds inside of your own game in Civilization VI. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.